Hello and welcome back to the 100 coding challenges in C Sharp. This is episode three and it's called Find Some Average. In this challenge, we're going to write a program to read in two numbers from the user and print back their sum and their average. If you'd like to attempt this challenge by yourself, now's the time to hit that pause button. All right, so as always, we're gonna take the first number. So I'm just going to say, enter the first number. And then I'm going to take in a string that I read from this user and I'm going to call this string X. So, sort of read line. So what I expect to happen here is it asks the user for the first number and then the user enters something in and this will capture the user's input. So the reason we're using a string here, even though we're working with numbers, is because console.readLine only captures string. This means that the user can enter in an arbitrary amount of keys. Um, they can say, you know, hello, Bob, or whatever they want to say. And this will still go into here. For the purpose of this challenge, we're not going to try and address any validation. But if you want to do that, you can also try and do that. That would be very good. So now that we've got the first input from the user we can ask them for the second input and this one I'm going to call string y now we've got the two inputs from the user However, if we try and do any sort of calculation on these, it's not going to work because it's a string. Um, if you add this and this together, all that's going to do is concatenate it, which means that if you take in the numbers 10 and 11, what it would input would be something like, like that. So in order to stop that from happening, uh, we want to cast these to uh, integer values. So now I'm going to declare a variable called x, which will be my integer value. And what I'm going to do is use a function called convert. So what this will do is take string x and convert that into an integer. And we can do the same for string y. Now that we've got our two integers, we can apply some calculations on them. So in sum equals x plus y, and it's as simple as that, and we'll get the sum uh, of these two um, inputs. Whilst we're here, we'll also do the average. So so what I want to do is x plus y divided by 2 as there are two integers. And then finally, we'll output this back to the user. So once again, we're using string interpolation and we are going to be uh, passing in the values of these variables into the string to output it back to the user. So if we run that, we can see that the console asks us for the first number. I'm going to input 10 and then the second number and I'm going to put 20 and it will give me the sum, which is 30, 10 plus 20 is 30 and the average is 15. Now I just want to run this again and enter in an odd number. So if I did 10 for the first number and let's say 17 for the second number, we'll see that um, it will give us an average of 13, which is actually incorrect. And that is because we are using integers um, to do our calculation and an integer is a whole number. 
So if you want to get it to the correct decimal place, what you want to do is use a float for the average instead. And we want to also cast the whole calculation into a float so that we can read it out properly. And then if we run this, now if I type in 10 and 17, that will give me an average of 13.5. So I wrote this code out so that it's easy to understand, but we could also simplify this code a lot and reduce the amount of lines of code that there is. Um, it's not always a good thing to do that, but if you want to know how to, I'll demonstrate that for you now. So there we go, I've simplified it down to six lines of code. Um, this isn't always the best thing to do as it can be sometimes hard to read, but if this is what you wanted to do, I've still got these lines to ask the user for their input. However, I've just included the convert to in 32 as part of this line. As soon as the console reads the input from the user, we're gonna convert that into an in and store it into this variable. Same with the second number. And then instead of having individual variables to do the calculation in and store it into, we're just doing the calculation directly into the output. So if we run that again, we can see that it will do the ex exact same thing as before. So 10, 20. And there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos like this. I'll see you guys in the next one.